Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Anatomy of a Goal. I'm Greg Lawless, editor-in-chief of MLSsoccer.com. You know, the best strikers learn from their mistakes, and the worst defenses don't. Now, that's the theory that was proved by Mike McGee when he scored his first league goal since joining his hometown club, the Chicago Fire, in a 2-0 win over DC United on June 2nd, 2013. Let's wind it back and break it down. And before we get to the actual goal, we need to look at a play that took place a few minutes earlier. At this point, the Fire are up 1-0, and the United are pushing for the equalizer. Now that explains why they're playing such a high defensive line and subsequently resorting to desperate offside traps. In this case, Perry Kitchen is late to step up and McGee goes in alone. Now watch what happens. He dribbles into the area and fires his shot straight into goalkeeper Joe Willis. The problem is that he never really gives himself an angle to shoot, so Willis is able to close him down. Remember this point for later. All right, now let's jump forward to McGee's goal. The action goes into motion after Nick DeLeon's pass is easily picked out by Patrick Niarco. Niarco plays the ball forward to Michael Santos and rushes forward himself. Now if you're DeLeon, the man who easily gave up possession for DC, there should be one thing on your mind. Make up for it. Some way. Any way. Instead, he jogs as Niarco sprints past him. And to be fair to De Leon, he is gassed at this point, and he even looks like he's struggling with some kind of an injury. But regardless, Niarco has acres of space in front of him when Mike Cone Santos plays the ball. Oh wait, did the DC trap actually work this time? Was Niarco offside? Some of the United players certainly think so. In fact, they're so certain that later, John Thorrington will have a calm, reasonable discussion with the officials about it. And he'll pick up a yellow card for his efforts. But here's the truth, John. You should have yelled it right back Ethan White, because he was the one who held Niarco onside. Well, tough luck for White, because he was working his tail off to try to cover McGee, to no avail. McGee collects Niarco's pass and this time does everything right. Compare his first touch. First one went straight at Willis, this one went at an angle, which gives him a much better option to curl his shot over Willis and into the back of the net. Lesson learned. A nice homecoming for a Chicago-born kid. Well, that's it for this episode of Anatomy of a Goal. Join me again next time when we'll wind it back and break it down.